but it's still legal to talk about my Jesus in the public place. The night is coming, people, when no man can work. The way things are going, it may soon be illegal. The night is coming, my friend, when no man can work. I work the work of being that sent me while it is day. Yes, my lion. Blessed love every time. My name is Bucci, and once again, I welcome you to Kingdom Culture, where we talk about the culture of our kingdom, our way of life as God's people. Thoughts that come to me, manured by the Spirit of God and by the Word of God. My Father who lives in me, He speaks to me from time to time. And these are the things I seek to share with you. Look at today, I got thinking. I know what it means to be hurt. There are things that people do to you that may not mean much. But sometimes when they come from people that you hold dear to you, you feel so greatly disappointed. You feel so hurt deep within you. You could put on a smiling face, try to look up, look cheerful, look like it's okay, it's okay. But deep within you, you are hurting. And if you had an opportunity to do that person some good, you may hold back. Let me not say if you had an opportunity to get back at the people, you would do something. But even if you would not do something to retaliate, the memory of the hurt may stop you from doing something you otherwise would have done for those people. Is that right? I know how painful it could be when you're hurt by people you trust, when you feel betrayed by people that you think you would have done much more for them, you would have done better if you were in their shoes. Fancy hearing the voice of God today ask you, where is your brother? Where is your sister? The brother in question or the sister in question may be the same one who hurt you yesterday. It may be the same one who hurt you last week or last month or last year. It is possible you've, you've cut off communication with that one. It is possible. Reacting in the flesh. But can I tell you something? No matter how painful it is, forgiveness is a grace that God has given to us. The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Forgiveness is an integral part of that love that God has given to us. You have it. Yes, you. You have it. You have the capacity to forgive wrongs. Just like Jesus. Just like Jesus. Someone heard that voice long ago, many years ago. Cain heard that voice. Where is your brother? In his anger, he, re he, he responded to the Lord. Am I my brother's keeper? Of course, God knew, saw him indeed, that he had slain his brother. That's Cain. Someone else heard that same question but responded in a different way. Consider the man Abraham. Abraham had a nephew, Lot by name, who was uh, co-shepherding with him, served under Abraham. But at this time, he had grown in substance, and he had his own men, he had his own cattle. And soon enough, Abraham's men and Lot's men began to have clashes. Natural, you would say, but there was a need to resolve this. In his large heart, in his magnanimity, uncle said to nephew, this should not be. There is more than enough land for us to graze. Get your men, get your cattle, take any part of the land. Just look and choose 
any part of the land and go ahead that way. We would have to go our separate ways at this point just so there would be peace, especially among our men. Long story short, Lot made that choice, chose the green area, the seeming green area. Yes? And off he went with his cattle. Fast forward several years later, the very place that Lot went to had become Sodom and Gomorrah. Trouble came when several enemy nations ganged up together and struck, and Lot was abducted. His goods and wealth plundered, his family taken away. It was devastating. Then came that question. It wasn't God speaking this time verbally to Abraham, but the situation spoke up. Report came that his nephew had been taken away. And Abraham did one of the most striking things, one of the most striking displays of magnanimity, of large-heartedness, of forgiveness. I mean, this would have been a good opportunity for Abraham to say, that little rascally boy, no respect for elders, ungrateful, disregarded all the good I did for him, took his cattle just at the, little, the slightest prompting. He took his men and his cattle, chose the green area, and went away. Now he's in trouble. It serves him right. He could have said so, but he did not say that. Instead, Abraham put his life on the line. The Bible records that he gathered his men, his soldiers, his servants. He, again, he could have said to them, go after those people and go recover my nephew, Lot. Abraham did not do that. He put his life on the line and led a team of an army, indeed, of his servants and soldiers and went after the enemies. He could have lost his life in the battle. But paramount to him was the welfare of his nephew, the same nephew who wronged him. That's Christianity, if you ask me. That's love, if you ask me. The capacity to forgive is a grace given to us by the Lord. The capacity to forgive, to overlook wrongs, is a grace given to us by the Lord. Take advantage of that grace. Little wonder at one of the most striking things that happened to Abraham, for which we have known him till date, and which we are still benefiting from, occurred on his way returning from that battle. He was successful at the battle. He didn't lose his life. He recovered his nephew Lot and his family, brought them back. But on his way returning to his base, Abraham met Melchizedek. Was it a coincidence that it was at this very time, after he had made this crucial sacrifice of going after his nephew, an errant nephew, that Melchizedek met Abraham and blessed him. I don't think it was a coincidence that it was on his way from this battle that Abraham met Melchizedek, paid a tithe, and received a blessing from the Lord. Remarkable, if you ask me. That's Christianity. That's the heart of God. Can we do the same? Is it possible to forgive that wrong? Is it possible to overlook that hurt? Painful it might, yes, maybe painful, but possible. Very, very possible. For God has shed abroad in our hearts his love, and in it is embedded the capacity to forgive. 
Forgiveness is of the Lord. It is of the Lord. So what would you do? Reach out to that one. Reach out to that brother. Reach out to that sister. Make that call. You could say, oh, it's been such a long time. God understands. Make that call. Challenge yourself. Make that call. Reach out to that one. Demonstrate that capacity to love that God has given to us. It is part of the culture of our kingdom. Mm. Do it today. God bless you. God bless you. Why did it take?